Hello, I'm Martin Ashley. I'm a consultant at the Dental Hospital in Manchester and I'm part of the ICOF team. I'm going to spend a little bit of time talking to you about how you can improve your oral health before your surgery. And we'll look at simple things you can do at home with your own dental hygiene to make your mouth cleaner. A clean mouth is going to have fewer bugs in it and we know that the bugs in your mouth can travel to your lungs and cause lung infections after surgery. So having a cleaner mouth before we start seems like a good idea. We'll start with brushing your teeth and I want you to brush your teeth twice a day, every day, once in the morning and once before you go to bed. I'm going to show you how to do that with a model I have of a mouth. It's pretty big and a big brush. There's six areas I want you to clean. Three on the bottom teeth and three on the top teeth. The three on the bottom teeth the first one is the biting surfaces of all the teeth. Holding your toothbrush at different angles. The second area is the outside surface next to your cheek and your lip all the way around. The third area is inside next to your tongue again all the way around. This area is often missed and the bugs from these areas will build up quickly. There's three areas on the top teeth, very similar. There's the biting surfaces, there's the fourth area, there's the outside surfaces next to your cheek and under your lip, and the last area is the inside surfaces next to the roof of your mouth. Let's look at that in more detail. This is a, a more realistic model, similar to your mouth. And we've got a normal toothbrush. Cleaning the bottom teeth, the tips of the bristles are like tiny fingers, cleaning into all the nooks and crannies on the surface of the teeth. When we clean the outside surface, instead of just brushing the teeth and bouncing from tooth to tooth, try and hold the brush at an angle so the bristles, like tiny fingers, penetrate deeply in between the teeth and clean your gum line as well. If the gum bleeds a bit, don't worry, that's a sign you're in the right area and that will get better every time you brush. For the inside, also hold the brush at an angle so the bristles can again penetrate along the gum line and deeply in between the teeth. For your front teeth, aim the bristles down into the gum line again and for the inside use the brush straight aiming it under your tongue and letting the bristles like tiny fingers clean behind the bottom teeth. For the top teeth it's very similar but you aim the bristles upwards towards the gum wherever you clean. There's lots of different toothbrushes and toothpaste available and truthfully it doesn't matter too much which one you use as long as you use it well. Toothpaste the same but we like toothpaste that has fluoride in it because it makes your teeth stronger and we like toothpaste that has antiseptic in it because it helps to kill the bugs in your mouth. When we put toothpaste on it's about the size of a pea or a baked bean and it's best if you press it into the bristles so that it slowly oozes out into your mouth instead of falling off. As well as brushing your teeth twice a day I want you to use an antiseptic mouthwash as part of your daily routine but at a different time from when you brushed your teeth. The antiseptic mouthwash is great because it reduces the bugs that live in your mouth and therefore your mouth is cleaner than if you only use a toothbrush and toothpaste. There's several different mouthwashes on the market. As long as it's an antiseptic mouthwash, it doesn't really matter which one you use. Take a swig of it, have a thorough rinse around your mouth and gargle as well. Perfect. Finally, 
I think it's important that you try and see your dentist or your dental hygienist before your surgery so they can give your mouth a really good professional clean before you have your operation. Thank you.